Popeye's new voodoo tenders, introduced in late October 2019, may have been originally intended as a kind of Halloween-themed limited-time offering, but they may also have been designed to tide customers over until the highly anticipated return of the chain's super popular chicken sandwich. The sandwich returned on November 3rd, but the voodoo tenders remain on the menu as of the making of this video. Popeyes may well be thinking, why not run them by the biggest crowds we've seen since last August when the sandwich was first launched? Since, hey, after standing in line for a few hours to get that sure better be as amazing as it's cracked up to be sandwich, hordes of hungry customers might just decide to check out what else is new at Popeyes. So what's up with these mysterious new tenders? What does voodoo taste like and does it pale in comparison to Popeyes' much-hyped chicken sandwich? Well, a voodoo tender is a regular Popeyes chicken tender dressed up with scallions, garlic, and ghost peppers. It's also drizzled with a brand new Popeyes condiment called voodoo sauce. The sauce is spicy sweet and resembles a Thai sweet chili sauce, with a flavor that Grubgrade's reviewer found to be more Asian than Cajun, which is no surprise as the third ingredient after water and sugar is pineapple puree. So for those keeping score at home, pineapple on pizza is considered heresy. You don't put f***ing pineapple on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> but pineapple sauce on fried chicken? Popeyes is clearly banking on it becoming a fast food fad. If you're looking for something with some real kick, the voodoo tenders may disappoint, since the ghost peppers listed as an ingredient appear to be MIA taste-wise. Ghost peppers are known for their intense heat, so it's unclear why Popeyes would even bother using them on this dish if they were just going to dial down the flavor like this. Grubgrade calls the tenders themselves plain and flavorless, and says the voodoo sauce does less than satisfactory work when it comes to spicing things up. The sauce is also described as odd-tasting, with the scallions adding only a little visual interest while doing nothing for the overall taste. Their verdict? Popeye's voodoo tenders are pretty far from memorable, with an overall grade of 4.75 out of 10. But that's just one opinion, man. YouTuber Roderick Eats called the voodoo tenders delicious, and folks on the Discuss Cooking Forum gave them a big thumbs up overall. Adding that the sauce had only a little bit of heat, Redditors commenting on the voodoo tenders had a harsher verdict to deliver, with several complaints regarding the overall quality and portion size of Popeye's tenders in general. Several commenters described the tenders they received when they ordered this dish using words such as thin and dry and measly. The voodoo sauce, however, really drew some ire for its lack of spiciness and excessive sweetness. Probably from all that darn pineapple. Pineapple pizza! Are you that's the skinny on the tenders themselves. What's up with the voodoo-evoking name? Well, if you avoid all things occult, like pop star Katy Perry's mom who famously refuses to eat deviled eggs, it may reassure you to learn that voodoo is not at all satanic. It's actually a blend of West African polytheism and Catholicism. In Popeye's native New Orleans, voodoo is also a major tourist draw, as numerous visitors flock to the historic voodoo museum and the tomb of 19th-century voodoo queen Marie Laveau. Finally, if you still want to get some Popeye's fall flavor, but you don't manage to snag an order of these voodoo tenders before they slither back into the swamp, never fear. Popeye's is big on Thanksgiving, too. There are a few menu items on the way that just might make you forget all about this voodoo brouhaha. This year, delish dishes that they're bringing back an old favorite to their dessert menu, the pumpkin cream cheese pie. And of course, they'll be offering their perennially popular Cajun-style turkey, which, heads up, busy cooks, is pre-cooked, so it won't require nearly as much prepping and cooking time as a DIY turkey. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite fast food fads are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.